What is up everybody? It's Dean here and good morning from the UK. We are going to be um, back drafting uh, Ravnica Allegiance today. It's a format which we've not been able to draft for a while. It's been taken off obviously of, uh, of the best of one circuit but it's back. Um, it's also a format that I haven't actually put that much time and effort into. I think when it was first around I was playing a lot of standards. And so um, I never got to draft as, as in depth with it as we have been doing sets more recently. So it's going to be really good to uh, to go back to uh, Ravnica Allegiance and see if we can kind of scope out the format in a little bit more detail. So let's uh, actually we can use coins for this. So let's jump in. Okay. So I think what I liked to play previously was like a. Um, an Esper control build. I think that was where we was at. Uh, Simic Sendry was, uh, is this the one where you have 20 or more growth counters you win? Yeah. Okay. Um, that's, that's nice. I, I didn't really like Simic at all, in all fairness. Uh, the Archangel is fine. Uh, Wall of Lost Forts. Oh yeah, that's the that's the kind of mill card, wasn't it? Senate Guild Mage, gain life, draw a card, all the good things you want to be doing. Quench. Now was Quench good? I can't remember. I don't think it was, was it? No, perhaps it wasn't. Um, mm -mm. okay. And. Grotesque Demise, Exile Talk, Creature Card, Power 3 or less. That, that was good. Uh, Imperious, Oligarch, yes as well. I think the Hybrid, the Hybrid was an excellent card, wasn't it, in green? But I don't think, um, I don't think it was taken very seriously by the bots. I'm going to go with Grotesque Demise here. I think that's the, uh, I think that's the correct first pick. Or is it the Senate Guild Mage? You draw two, you gain two life, draw a card. Could be the Senate Guild Mage, actually. Wall of Lost Thoughts. One of Lost Thoughts enters the battlefield. Target player puts the top four cards into the graveyard. Hmm. When Ultra Angel enters the battlefield, you gain two life for each gate you control. Hmm. Is either this or the Grotesque Demise? Or the Senate Guild Mage? Senate Guild Mage is actually nice, isn't it, in terms of the card draw? Hmm. But this is just an awesome removal spell. I'm going to go with the removal spell. And see if things kind of start to build around it. Ram? Grab a ram and start to, uh, hmm, Sentinel's Mark. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, it gains plus X until the end of the with X number of creature you control. Now that is nice in the kind of control build, isn't it? Okay. Sentinel's Mark's Flash. Many of the game's lifelink. I think this was actually okay. I think it presented a nice little combat trick and, you know, got us, out, got us in elsewhere. Hmm. So, no, no. Senate Griffin? Was that just expensive? 3 2 when it enters its scry. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, I think I think the ram is better, right? What colours does this put us in? Green, blue, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay. Well, let's take the ram and just see what remains open. Consecrate, consume. Exile type card from your graveyard. Take your place, sacrifice the creature greatest power amongst them. You gain life. See, that's, that's very much what we want to be kind of doing, I think. Plague right. When it becomes blocked, each creature blocking it gets minus one, minus one. 
See, I, I, I think I was happy with that when I was playing it. Interesting. Uh, I mean, that is nice, isn't it? And then it's about field. Although the grasping fall, I think we, I think, wasn't it you want as many grasping falls as possible? Draw a card. Hmm. Let's go for consecrate consume. So there's a throw there, summary judgment. Yeah, so I think I think the summary judgment was deemed good. So let's just pop this into the sideboard for a second. Uh Gateway Plaza. Can attack an additional creature. Oh, can block an additional creature in combat. Five. I think here we just take the gateway plaza. Kind of opens ourselves up a little bit. Okay. Chill bring it. So that kind of feeds into that Esper control type affair, doesn't it? This it was fine, but it was expensive. Okay. Whenever it attacks you, may set a creature. If you do, it can't be blocked. Hmm. Target opponent sacrifice a creature. If you control a creature power four, when you gain for life. I think, I think these kind of sacrifice cards aren't too good. There's lots of little, um, there's lots of little tokens running around, aren't there? So these afterlife tokens. That is transfer. I can't. Dead Revels, return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. I think we go there actually. Let's pop in the sideboard for now. Okay. The carrier imp. Exile card from your graveyard if you do, you gain two life. So a little bit of life gain. Panther. Dead Revels again, but I think we're going for the Oleokia. Okay, so now we are back to the start. And so, second order, try and get in the air with the flyers. Sentinel's mark. The three six is nice, but it is expensive. Okay, quench. I guess we're hoping not to play the quench, but. But we will see. Okay. Hydro Cressus. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, we've got to be taking this. Another Chillbringer. Okay, so if we are taking that. Hmm. If we are taking that, then what do we do? What do we do? I mean, gateway sneak. Gateway sneaks are nice, aren't they? So we take this. It's it's on color. Let's just try and bear that in mind. Final payment. We could just do four color good stuff. And worry about it later. Final payment's just really nice. Because my worry is, we've got lots of kind of good cards. Um, Grasping Thralls, for example. So what do we have here? That's expensive, but creatures you control, creature your opponent controls get minus one, zero. So it's six, but flying first strike, it's good. It is good. But is it better than the blade juggler? So if we went down this route, it's in, it is in our colours technically. Okay, let's grab this for now. Okay, now we need to be start being a little bit smarter. We have another creature in Battlefront Shield we gain more life. The Ah, so the essence capture, the essence capture is quite good. Um, double blue counter. I 
think I think Arrest's domination is where we want to be. Forbidden Spirit. Hmm. That double white's a bit of a killer. You get Messenger. Put one of them into your hand. See, we don't really want this. We're not in green. Hmm. Petitioner. So it's the scrying action. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. Uh. Hmm. So another chillbringer. Nice. Carrier imp. This is the main phase creature against flying. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, we are looking to try and prioritize gates now to see if we can get this Hydroid Crisis up and running. Uh, courier is fine. Is that the one that gains his life or? No, just Vigilance until the end of turn. Blade Brand, Combat Trick, Syndicate Messenger again. Show possibilities. Yeah, we don't. That's not really what we want to be doing. I'm sure it's not. Okay, so which one's this one? Each creature you control plus one plus counter. Hmm. Turn to your hand. So one or both, isn't it? So, I mean, this is lovely, but I think it's too expensive and it's very much kind of constructed. I think. Six mana to gain a creature? Hmm. Well, it could be good late game. But I think here it's got to be the Guild Gates. Remind me. Remind me what this does. Whenever a creature an opponent controls becomes tapped, if it isn't if it isn't being declared as an attacker, you may draw a card. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Um which is nice actually, because it does interact well with these. Galloping Lizrog. Inspire Fields, you may remove any... I wasn't a big fan of this, if if memory serves. Hope I'm not wrong about that. Aeromunculus. Green. Yeah. Let's have a look at the Varied Circle. We might, might be able to get that to work. Grotesque Demise. Um, at the beginning of your Obscure Sky 1. Ability of your upkeep, scribe one. Prying eyes, draw four cards and discard two cards. It's nice but expensive. I'm not a big fan of the lockets. So I think I grow testing mice. Make sure I've got kind of enough going on defensive wise. Tap a target. Hmm. No, I think for me here. I think for me here it's just another guild gate. Right, what do we have? When another creature you control dies, it deals one damage to the point you gain a life. Hmm. I mean, that can be a nice little combat trick, this. I, I, I think I really like this one. Sure it did. Okay. This is a good binding spell. Um, I did like the Humunculus though. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, we'll go for the Binding. Exile type creature power 4 or greater. I don't think I need that in this deck. I mean, the Arrestor's Emanation is good. But do I just go for a Guild Gate here? No, I think I have this. The damage of player that played this got a card after life two. Um growth spiral. 
Artifact enchantment. Most of daylight. I mean, how many artifacts enchantments have I got? Oh, there are there are some artifacts. I must admit. Okay. Um, okay. I'm I'm trying to figure out what I'm kind of splashing black for because I think black is the splash, right? Let's just go the growth spiral. Black and green are the potential splashes here. Uh, so creatures with a one-one counter have flying. I think the skate wing is fine. How many one-one counters am I distributing? Not many, am I? Not not many at all. So maybe it's not right for our deck. Do, do, do. Sacrifice it. Gains indestructible. Thought collapse. Maybe. Let's take the Galloping Lizard. I'm sure it's... It's been so long since I've played this. Fine, guys. An okay removal spell. Take the uh, Uncommons. Human Possibility. Okay. Human Glass. And Grow Spiral. Whoa. What a... What a rocky pack that is, but... 44 cards, though. Only 11 creatures. Not so good there. Not so good. Let's have a look. Sentinel's Mark can probably go. Quench can probably go. Shimmer Possibilities can probably go. Snack. Courier. Sentinel. Good testimizers. Hmm. Consanti Pit, maybe that's going to be too expensive. I guess it could come in in the late game. But actually, when we look at. So, whenever an opponent becomes tapped. So, we've got a couple of outs there, haven't I? And it could be good to control in the late game. Which would be great, it's power. Uh, thought collapse? No, let's target spell though. It's, it's decent. Let's go with the blade brand. Any other creatures that I can um, instill in the deck instead, or as well as? So what I've got here five. 11, 14, 15, 16, 17. Hmm. Applied Biomancy could be the one. So if I take that out, I can pop in um, a Messenger. It's quite weak, but at least it's another no, no, ah, there's no four drops there. Maybe I get rid of the homunculus then. I pop another messenger in as well. Okay, we think. So we started doing the thing where we um, try to guess how many games we'll win as our title. In all honesty, I'm gonna go three three. Um, three three drop. I don't think that. I don't think we have the experience to kind of push through with this. Um, plenty of removal, a little bit of card draw, so I think it's going to be okay. Let's jump into the uh, let's jump into the games and start to let's start to see where we are at with this draft. Just a quick thank you, obviously, for everybody who's kind of tuned in on Twitch. We're also streaming on Mixer at Ardeen, and for those of you um, watching. On Twitch and want to kind of see some of our um, older drafts across different formats, you can also find us at Our Gaming on YouTube. We try to upload new drafts every day or so. Uh, I mean, I 
kind of guess we keep and hope we get there. We've got a turn three removal. Playing against Kuma Cam. Good start. It's a good start. Give them the quick hello. Maybe they're maybe they're waiting on the pleasantries. And ladies and gents, we could be picking up our first win. Hmm. So yeah, so as, as I was saying. Tune into our gaming, our YouTube channel, where you can see um, more thrilling content in the future, such as this. Oppo's clearly disconnected, right? Because I haven't. How long until they start being roped? Okay, now. Well, we're going to take the first win, obviously. Uh, probably a bit of a rocky keep, but we got there. Beautiful, look at this. Oh, I've got to play Avena. Play the swamp. Pass to Oppo. Ah, no, Oppo's back. Drats. Uh, we're going to play at the plaza. Tap in the swamp. And now, actually, we're in a much better position than we were. Okay, I'll put guess in for two. Uh, in all honesty, I think we keep the grotesque demise up and just try and maybe counter the next thing that Oppo goes for. This is an instant spell. Actually, they've only got two mana, haven't they? So actually, I'm going to go grotesque demise now. Ooh. No, we got there. So Oppo has something, but whether it's another two drop, I don't know. That's fine. We don't really want to be using removal on something such as that. That we can that we can block with the syndicate messenger anyway. So we do need Oh no we don't. We're fine. Get a combat trick out of Oppo's hands. Remember this has got afterlife. Oppo does get to scry annoyingly. So we save ourselves three damage. Still got a creature on board. Full out fiend. So we could go testimize, but I don't think don't think we do. Um how we just kinda of hold this back. Now we're holding up the fort collapse just in case Oppo has a for whenever Oppo kind of plays out there next. So ping that off. Lovely. Nice. So we're gonna hit out the fort collapse now because next turn we'll be playing the sky guard. I mean, it's it's a so-so card, but I think I think let's go for it. Oh wow! Well, in all fairness, they were all cards that Oppo could have played, right? So 
Let's go for the Sky Guard now. If our foe attacks him, we don't block. Okay, they're starting to they're starting to come back. Demon. Concentrate consume. Target face sacrifice creature with greatest power amongst creatures of control. That's interesting. Um so we attack him. And actually, I think I play out the. Uh, I think I play out the. Why can't I play this? Oh, next to damage. Okay. Funny. So I'm going to play this out to give us a blocker, and then pass. Exile type card from graveyard. So play this out. Go for the blocks. See what Oppo plays out here. And then we decide whether we go test demise it now or leave up concentrate consume for the next turn. So remember if we were to just use this, we can draw a card. We're hoping for an absolutely huge creature as soon as possible. Okay. That doesn't do it for us, sadly. So we have a white. Whenever it becomes blocked. Oh, yeah, because it gets manipulated by this, doesn't it? So let's hit him for four. Pass the turn. Uh, I think we can fire off both of these, actually. Let's see what Oppo goes for. Maybe it's something. I think I think why we're winning the race. Okay, what's this? Hmm. It's not ideal, is it? In which case, let's save us a little bit of. Nothing I can do here. That's a shame. That's a shame. One to the top. Chill, bring it. Let's go for the chill, bring it now. Boom. Just so this doesn't untap. Now we want to lure Oppo in to get playing something relatively big so we can use the concentrate consume. Or at least to consume half of it. I suppose looking through there. Maybe they, if they try to bring a creature back, we will respond with Consecrate. I mean, this is actually fine because my turn, there's nothing they can do there. So we're going to attack him for four. And I mean, they're going to spend their turn playing those. So grasping fall down, gain that to your life and end the turn. So we've got Oppo dead to rights next turn. There we go. They scoop. I mean, no offense, Oppo did miss the first turn, and I think they missed a couple of land drops. But, deck's not too bad. I'm happy. Let's move. Let's move on. Okay. Hopefully we have a, a much more fairer match this time. Glad you actually got to play and not just uh, not just staring at a kind of a blank screen for a couple of games. Leaf teacher. Okay. 
Um, yeah, this is a very poor opening hand. So I think we mulligan. Slightly better. But only slightly. We'll, uh... We'll pop off a of planes. Okay, we'll start with the guild gate. So remember we've, um... We didn't really play Ravnica Allegiance when it was out originally. So we are get, still getting a kind of a, a feel with the cards here. We're one game up. Fill of possibilities. So, fill of possibilities is fine, except for the fact that... Um, do, you want, do you really want to be playing at turn two? Look at the top four cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand, the rest on the bottom of your library. So you only get one. So, I kind of guess that's so-so. So this is an instant, but I think we want to wait until Oppo's turn to play, especially as we don't really have a, a turn three or four. Okay. Is this a slow format? I can't remember, I don't. Okay. Syndicate Messenger. Uh, my turn. I think... I think here we actually want to be getting the Chillbringer out, don't we? But perhaps. Let's go for the Chillbringer. Just to be as effective of our mana use as possible. And then next turn we can either play the Sky Guard or we can play a combination of the... Uh... Okay. So Oppo clearly has some sort of counter spell. Unless they've got something that flashes in. Do I just bring? Do I just try and save this? I think, I think I do actually. I think I do. Oppo seems to be a little behind, so. And we get another sort of. We get another activation out of it. It's a little bit annoying that it kind of puts us one turn behind, but that's fine. We've got plenty of mana out. Sentinel's mark. Chillbringer. Uh. Play out my lands. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, that's fine, of course, but is that is that what you want to be doing as an opponent? Uh. I can't remember if there's much discard in the set. I mean, yeah, that's kind of guess that's fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't want to wait till eight. Oppo's been trying to. Uh, I mean, Oppo's got lots of potential removal here. Perhaps we kind of wait out a little bit. I don't know if I've been playing this right or not. It seems a little slow. We've allowed Oppo to... Well, it's not that we've allowed them. They've played them anyway, right? So let's play these off against each other. Maybe get another trick out of Oppo's hands. Boom. 
That's quite nice. Three and... Okay. So now we're holding them back, hopefully. <laughs> Two, five, six, seven, eight. So Oppo might have something for this, but but they'd always have something for this, right? Is my thinking. Uh, no attacks. Oppo gains a life. So going to be final death. Um, Final death, final paymenting this sky guard. Hexproof from monocolored. Hmm. That does put me out. This could be interesting. So, do we play this down? I think I've got the life to do it, haven't I? Although we could do this at instant speed. Play at the Verity Circle. So this has so it's five. One, two, three, four, five. So actually, I can't play both of these out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack in with. Hmm. Just going to attack in with this. So it would go up to eight. Oppo can't kill it unless they triple block. Okay, so here actually I think I'm going, I'm going to uh, just pay five life and kill this. Should have probably done that as I was attacking him. Oh nice, look at that. Look at that. Picking up two of those is excellent. So that oppo could potentially... Oh, not if they do this, though. Uh, no blocks. So I can use this on this. That's, that's fine. So. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So. If I was to play this down, one, two, three, four, five... So, think I attack in, don't I? I mean, that's fine because this has got trample. And combat. So, Is Oppo gonna draw a card? Take action. Redraw, redraw a card, and that's excellent for us. Grassman Fall is gonna be a four point life swing. And the Verity Circle actually provides an excellent way in which we can deal with this Sphinx. At least until we draw another kill spell. Do we keep the six mana 
Uh, what is it? Consigned to death. Consigned to something. Is that what it is? Do we keep that in? Oh, draw a card then, discard the card. They have to, okay. Remember, I can use this multiple times a turn. That's useful. That's useful. We wish we could have actually picked one of those up. Oh, can we not cast that? Hexproof from... Oh, Hexproof from Monocolored. Ah, and it's also without flying. Uh, in which case, oops, and pass. Uh, yeah, nothing we can do about it. No blocks. My turn. Dawn. Dawn, dawn, dawn. Okay, uh, so what do I do? Do I t keep attacking with the Crassus? Crassus provides an excellent block here. It's a weird one. It is a weird one. Uh, let's go in for it. Counter spell? That would be a shame if it was. Nice. Undoes a lot of our hard work there. Um, okay. Think. Think on their upkeep. I force them to do something with this. Force them to draw their cards. Take action. Okay, so not ideal for us, uh, but at least we are kind of guess we are getting these swamps out past the main. Hydro's crisis. Okay. So presumably Oppo is going to be swinging in with all here. I think Oppo might have the win. It's interesting they're not attacking with all. I would. Okay, so no bugs. So, I mean, what do I do? Do I hold up the crisis? Uh, I can't really, can I? Mm -hmm. No attacks. End turn. <clears throat> Hexproof from mono colour. So, Lord Major's binding on the Sphinx. Pre combat. Make sure I get my chill bringer back online.
can't be blocked. Wow. Okay, so we can deal with that. We can deal with that. Tents. Take action. With the greatest power. Ah, sorcery speed. Okay. It's great that they've been able to redraw all these cards. It means they've got another Sky Guard in and around here. So the only thing is we had to play this here. Because we wouldn't have survived this turn. My turn. Beautiful. So, do I attack him with all here? I mean, I could block one here. So six, three would go through. I get the, do I get the win? Stunning work. And the Verity Circle came in. We got a grotesque demise at the right time. Perfect. So two wins. I'm sure you'll be able to criticise that in the comments section. I'm sure there was lots of plays there which uh, which I perhaps shouldn't have been making or ones which I should have uh, made sooner perhaps. One of my main concerns is that we, we did get a little tippy-tappy. We started off very quickly, um, but then Oppo didn't really have anything going for them. and We just kind of, kind of absorbed a lot of that. I don't know. Um, here we've got a couple of cards which we definitely can't play. It's nice that we get the... Uh, uh, the guild gate, but I think I might mulligan. Okay, this is a lot better. So we're going to keep this. Um, this is an excellent card. Under for now, we just get the Verity Circle. Hmm. Have I got any cards that help shuffle our library? Is the thing. Because Verity Circle can be very powerful. Uh, but I mean, get we need this Sky Guard, right? Let's let's do that. Start with the guild gate. Okay, happy with that. We drew the Crassus. Nice. So next turn we can use the. Uh, how many does this do? Six. So I might just play this out now, uh, just in the hope that we can draw a card, put Oppo back a little bit, Simic Gilgate. Second one. Okay, so here we want to be playing out the Messenger. Oppo can't adapt them just yet. 
They can next turn now. But if they attack him, we'll gladly. Okay. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's throw one of those off. Save, save two damage at this point. It's time to pit. So here, I think at I think we play out a. But the issue is, then we can't we can't deal with these then. But it's going to be a lot of. Ah no, so it's only a three three. Pass. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay. Oppo's getting 10 damage in here. No? I think that could have been a mistake. No, I think it's GG's for Oppo. They've... Uh, They've well and truly got me beat here. Too slow. Too slow. Good game. Four, eight. Yeah. Okay. I didn't have enough going on early game. And that kind of shows that one of the weaknesses of this deck, perhaps. So we pick up our first loss. Um... Could we have played that better? Yes. Um, we started off with, you know, some really weird, uh, well, a, a couple of mulligans. I could have potentially got rid of the sky guards, kept the very circle. It would have given me something to on turn five, I guess, but not. Yeah, I would still be limited. Still be limited. Three pugs. Hmm. I mean, this is fine, I guess. We do use the Gateway Plaza, turn two, and then we've got lots of turn three plays that open up for us. I'm happy with this. So remember the Gateway Plaza enters the battlefield, uh, you pay one, enters tapped. Um, so you kind of take turn two off, but after that you can tap it to add any amount of any color. So. so we're going second, I believe, on the draw. So we're playing a swap next turn unless Oppo, uh, or well, unless we draw a, um, a guild gate. Oppo waiting for the pleasantries. Hello. Twilight Panther. Now that's interesting. Maybe that's something we exile. Especially if it starts suiting it up. So I'll post probably playing white black. Pegasus. Okay. So we take turn two off and then we decide what we do. So if Oppo kind of, uh, kind of suits one of these up or something. But either way, we're probably playing uh, Abomination. Uh, Admonition, abomination, admonition, or grotesque demise next turn. I think, I think it's a little bit too soon for the grotesque demise. What are you thinking, Oppo? Oppo's unsure. So. Do I play this or do I just play this out? I think perhaps I do. It gives me a blocker here and gets a creature that I can just chuck in the air. Maybe I even get a kill spell out of Oppo's hand. Which is looking like I might do. Okay. Oppo goes in for one. 
which is fine. Mm -mm -mm. So, here I think I actually do just keep playing out creatures. Happy to attack him with this. I mean, I sent to so it's quick and easy. Power three or less, so I could get rid of this. It seemed a wasteful target, especially with only having uh, one toughness. Focusing on the syndicate messenger. So lots of afterlife going on here. Let's see what they go for. So nothing of there's taps of interest. I mean, I'm happy taking this one. Especially in exchange for two a turn. That's a race I can win. Strange that Oppo didn't attack him with a vampire. Okay. So we play out the... Uh, play that out. Um, I think we attack in for, with both. Oppo seems to be stuck on land. Nice. So I'm going to play out the very circle here. Giving me a couple of play options next turn. Oppos needs to read it. It's a card which it is a rare. Um, I don't think many people play it. Is Oppo going to get scared and try and destroy it with some enchantment removal? Just look at that way. Okay, so another creature with one toughness that we don't really care too much about. So nothing too much going on at the minute. Wow. Nice. So keep that back as a blocker. Um, but I'm going to go in. Going to go in with this. I mean, I've, perhaps I should have gone with both of them. Great to see that I got the Sky Guard. It's a good time to get that, actually. Oppose shy for lands. So I think now we need to kind of. Next turn, I bring this back to. Or do I just kill this? See what Oppo's looking for. Oppo goes to attacks. So, is it four or is it five? It's five. So I think we... Interesting. I'm going to attack him with a Sky Guard. And the... And the Oligarch. See what we can get. Part of me is thinking about just casting this down. Okay. Okay, pass the turn. So now I've got good blocks here. And then next turn, we can kind of wipe the board and just swing in. And I think we'll have it. So 
So we're going to return this to hand. Concentrate, consume. We're going to return this to hand. Beautiful. And we go in with all. Five in the air, three on the ground. Total of eight. And then we've got a couple of removal spells for next turn. Beautiful. So we played that out slightly slower than we perhaps typically would. Um, but, you know, we're in an excellent board state now. Oppo can't win the game, I don't think. Because even if they play creatures, got, you know, kind of um, afterlife effects. Nice. GG's Oppo. Okay. Little help there for Oppo flooding. Uh, well, opposite flooding, sorry, mana screwed. Flooding with creatures. Okay, so we got our three wins. So we are kind of on par for where we thought we would be with this deck. Let's see if we can push forward a little bit more now and, uh, and try and push through. So, from what I do remember from this set, it's perfectly fine to kind of deviate from the sort of two color plan. So I think we are playing, what are we playing, four colors? Yeah. Hmm. This is fine, I think. I think this is fine. We are, especially since we're on the play, so it's like we're not kind of missing a turn behind. Oppo also mulliganed, which is good for us. So we're looking for a turn three um, Senate Courier. Or Thought Claps, depending on how opponent's board state is. Okay. So we are set up for whatever we want to play now. Okay, so I think, I think here I keep open the. Actually, no. Here I'm going to play out the courier, and then next turn, admonition, whatever they play now, back into their hand. So I'm just thinking of kind of slowing them down as much as possible. Oh wow, light up the stage. Okay, scotch mark might be nice. Uh, in which case I'm going to keep up the fort collapse. Just attacking for one. We need another land to get the frowl down. Okay, so four mana here. Uh, no. I mean, it's not an especially kind of spectacular card, but... So this is quite nice. Um, whatever they play next, I can... Uh, take that to their hand, and I can draw a card off the sneak. So I could be drawing two cards this turn, all being well. Okay, so Oppo will be also joining me to draw cards. Uh, exile with power three or less. Um, yes. I don't really want them drawing too much off of that. Um, and I think getting in for two damage here is good. So we draw another land. Okay. Not the end of the world. Yeah, that's what the Blade Juggler is a really nice card. Okay. So this is interesting actually because here I think I give them the option. Here I think I Take this back to their hand. And then give them the option of, well, you either block 
Or I draw a card. Nice. Pass the turn. So now we've got a five uh, power kind of kill spell going on here. Okay. So not perfect by any means. Death touch as well. Goblin gathering. So they're going little. My turn. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beautiful. Um, I think I go Frau. Beautiful. Consigned to pit, okay. Attack it with the enforcer, perhaps. No, I don't think I use that there. Oh, but then again, it does exile, doesn't it? Okay, let's be aggressive. Uh, end of turn. Knight of Sorrows is nice to get down. Hopefully ASAP. Crocodile. That's the turn. My turn. Okay, so here we've got a couple in the air. And then we're gonna get down to flying here. End the turn. So we've got one more gate. Mirror march. Uh okay. So I hope I need to do something. I wanna Oh wow, that's nice. That is nice. Draw a card. Boom. Check that out. Lots of creatures flying in the air now. I think we've got the win. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Sacrifice it at the beginning of your next end step. So we're one. One mana short. Enter. Okay. That's the first time I've ever seen Mirror March do any work. My turn. Uh, good game, Oppo. Good game. Too little, too late with those uh, those rares. I don't. Um, I, I mean, I know captivating audience can kind of win out the game, and if you do, if you are in Ragdos, like having it just as a on color rare is good. Um, but equally, you know, it's it's so slow, and I had all of my damage on deck. I got up, I got up and down to one before they played that. So. So yeah. It was a good combination though, playing, um, I, f I forget what card they played to get to get my uh, Grasping Thrall back, but it was a good combination with the Mirror March. It's something which has the potential to, to win you the game, that, that combination.
I mean, you have to be very lucky. So we're up to uh, four wins, one loss at the minute. Um, yeah, this is fine, I think. This is fine. Uh, I think we do want to try and get this out, don't we? Especially as we're on the play. So we might have to take turn three off. Which apparently has turned out to be fine. Good little gamble. Okay. So I think I keep... It's not ideal, but I think I do keep attacking in now. We've got another one of these. It's why I'm using it so sort of... Wastely. We also have the law, uh, law majors binding. We have Chilbringer if we can grab another land this turn. Probably going to hit this out here actually. Pay five. Okay. I would normally try to uh, establish a board presence, but it's quite tricky for us with creatures can't attack unless we play two. Okay, so now I can establish that board presence. Anything from Oppo? That's interesting. In for four. I think actually, I even go for the uh, summary judgment. Because it has to be to a tapped creature, right? And now I've got lethal in the air. Boom, we get the win. And it was full steam ahead with that, actually. Oppo was on the back foot for the entire game. Nice. Let's quickly move on to the next round. Keep this momentum up. So we've got five wins. We expected three wins. Um, but it looks like we've just kind of drafted a very strong kind of four-colour deck. Well, it's, it is Esper, isn't it? But splashing green. And that's the, almost the power of kind of removal in this format. The binding is excellent as well. Just need to make sure it's on the right creatures. Okay. Let's stage capitalism. Um, mm. So this is one I'm not too fussed about. I think we do keep just because we are, we're nearly there, aren't we? It just depends on, depends on the, uh, the mana we pick up. So we have a turn two and a turn four. Not so good for us. Get the oligarch down. So we are... Are we five wins or are we four wins? Five wins, one loss. We're doing a lot better than we expected. So we're playing a Esper deck, splashing green for Hydroid Crisis. That's only actually turned up in one game so far. Or two games, but we only really played it out in one. Nice. So Blade Juggler, excellent card. We are very shy on mana. Um, I think we, I think we offer the trade here. That's fine. <clears throat> okay, so we're a little shy on blue, but depending on what Oppo does here, so what's this? They can pump that. 
Okay. So we either trade or we get a combat trick. Looks like... Okay. That's more or less fine. Not not ideal, of course. So we're going to play out the uh, the messenger. We've got Constant Pit, but to say that we've drawn three or four lands in a row, we are... Is Oppo doing to us what we did in the last game? Just absolutely uh, rampant in terms of removal. Yeah, Blade Jugger is an excellent card. Oppo's got so many options, they are... They're just waiting on us. Okay. Let's see if we've got another... I'll take a combat trick here. Okay. Oppo went for the trade. Perhaps they've got another juggler. Let's have a look. If they do, we're in a little bit of trouble. Okay. Okay, some, some mediocre creatures there. Hydroid Crisis comes around, but sadly... I mean, I don't think I can attack with that. I think I, I, think I just need to use it as a chump blocker somewhere. Oh, this is... It's not ideal in all honesty, but what can we do? We take three unless Oppo pumps the Trumpeter. They don't, so they've got a, they've got a slightly bigger creature. Let's see what it is. Blade Juggler again. Nice. Draw a card. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All these things are good. So, this is extremely annoying. So, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So we. In fact, I don't think we can actually win. I don't think we can win. Oh no! This is sorcery. I'm playing the wrong game. Let's uh, let's let's concede that. <laughs> Why did I think that was instant? It's because I thought it was uh, final death, probably. Okay, but anyway, we would we were never winning that. The all, out of all the blue kind of lands we have. So what do we have? We've got six six outputs of each. Uh yeah. Do I need more? Do I need more? I mean we've been playing fine, right? But we don't want that to happen again. So actually what I think we do is we drop a swamp and we go for another island. Uh where are we? Island, are we? Can't see it. That'll do. Okay. Let's have it like that instead then. That is the first time that we have been kind of shy on mana, which is... Uh... Oh, hey, Gaff, How's it going, buddy? Yeah, um... Doing quite well. Got uh, five wins, two losses. So we're doing good. It's it's kind of a it's kind of a returning format. So it's something that we haven't played in a while. Um, gonna mulligan this. Okay, and this is fine. So yeah, how are you, mate? Uh, what are we tricking back? I think it's got to be the Sky God. It's too slow. You're not streaming this one or anything, are you? Okay, so we can trade these off. It's fine. It's not the uh it's obviously not the best play in the world, but Yeah, that's true, mate. Gotta get these wins in. So I mean, I don't know why Oppo wouldn't want to trade these off. Seems good. So we both create one of uh, these, well, these spirit tokens. Okay, so our hand is looking quite poor. Again, yeah, happy to trade these. We don't have any sort of uh, buffs or anything of the like. Okay. So that's slightly better for us. The messenger at least provides uh, some sort of block. Ill-gotten inheritance. So remind me about this. This is one damage. 
at the beginning of your upkeep, one damage to each, and then you can sacrifice it for four. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to, um, because of this, because it kind of puts us on a little bit of a clock, I'm going to more or less waste the Chillbringer on the Oligarch, but just so that I can get it down. And now we are against the kind of tides. I forgot about it. Oh, got it. Two. Okay. So now we are... Yeah, now we're in a little bit of trouble, I must admit. Let's play it out. So Oppo deals two damage to us each turn and gains two life. They can sacrifice each to uh, deal four and gain four. So potential to be a uh, eight power, well, eight life swing there. This doesn't tap. Okay, so we can claw some of that life back with the uh, grasping thrall. Deals two, we gain two. We attack in for two, so we're not we're not completely dead. If we do get a source of green, we can unlock the hydroid crisis. Ah, okay. Oppo's playing the same games as we are. Not ideal. Uh, pass the turn. Okay. So now it essentially is a race against the clock. Oppo's nearly back to their starting life total. We do need to get the Hydro Crisis online, but we need that green mana. Carrier him. They'll exile the Chillbringer. Gain two life for them. This is an excellent, uh, excellent black-white deck for Oppo. So we're hoping they attack him with a Grasping Thrall, which we can kill if they do. They do not, though. Okay, and... Yeah, now... Now we're very short. What do we do? What do we do? No attacks. Okay, so this could leave us at a loss, I think. Um, what does Oppo do? At the end of their turn, sacrifice the first they've got an inheritance. Okay. Seems a little sloppy. I don't think they need to do that. I think they've got the win. Yeah. So, stop. Start of turn. Now Oppo needs to sacrifice one of these. Unless there's, unless they think I can gain some life back somehow. I mean, I have got the Hydro Crisis, but it's too little too late for that in all honesty. My turn. I mean, we're doing what we can here, right? <laughs> Oppo's got a. Uh, Oppo's got the two mana kill spell sacrifice creature. They're gonna sacrifice the oligarch or or this. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful Oppo. So, Oppo could have won this turn. They still can technically. Feels like they're. That's fancy. GG's. Yeah. All these things are good. And... I think we concede. Yeah. GG's. Although... No. What a shame, what a shame. But we're still up on the draft, and we're going to jump into another draft. Awesome. So, just to kind of recap on this deck, um, it's our first kind of foray back into Ravnica Allegiance. Hydroid Crisis, I think, was pack two. Um, lots and lots of removal. A couple of grotesque demisers, binding, consign to pit, consecrate, consume. Um, yeah, and just lots of things to kind of pacify our opponents as well. So we've got a, uh, we've got a counter spell and a couple of cards which just either tap their creatures or return their creatures back to their hand, just completely slow them down. Um, and also the kind of Chillbringer as well. 
The Verity Circle was was all right. We was able to draw quite a lot of cards off it. It's probably not a rare that I would try and play all the time. But in terms of our prediction of 3-3, I think we did really well. So just in terms of the YouTube video, I'm going to sign that off there. Thank you very much uh, for watching. Make sure to catch me on Mixer and Twitch at Ardeen and also on YouTube at our gaming. We try to upload uh, drafts and a little bit of standard almost every day. So I will catch you again soon.